Yeah. The second seeds. Nice to see the top four all in the semi-finals, not something you see in any of the other disciplines. Well, we started our day with Xiu Sung Jae, and we're now going to end it with him. Being in the uh, mixed doubles and men's doubles, just as he was at the World Championships. And an opportunity to repeat that feat by not only getting to both finals, but winning them both as well. They have met twice before. Kang and Xiu have won both of them. For the, the last one was Red at that World black. Champs Red. where they went on Red. to win it. And Kung and Xia won that in three. Let's uh, meet our players then for this one. Kang Min Hyuk is uh, 24 years of age. Six foot tall from Su Won. And that uh, is sixth currently. Have been a little bit higher at fourth. Shilsu J. 82, but also about six foot. World champ, as we said. Double world champ is Yosung Jay's case. They have not dropped a single game yet. And, uh, he has won 11 titles on his own. Uh, on his own, his own sorry, with uh, a couple of different partners, Choi Sol Gyu and now Kang Min Hyuk. Come back to that pair. Young Po Swan is 27. Currently playing at his best ranking. He's taller at uh, 176. Lee Jiang is 29 at 179. Now he's actually ranked higher at 7th in the world. That was when he was with Lee Young. And the uh, pair of them have dropped uh, a couple of games along the way against the Indonesian pairing of Hidayat and Sukamulyo. That's the new one. Let's come together and Chang Kochi and Pauli Wei, the six seeds, they beat them in three. Ready to play. They won the US Open and Polish Open in 2019. Chaki Miyazaki is the umpire. Kelvin Sui of New Zealand is our service judge. Thoughts ahead of this one, Jeff, what do you reckon? Well, I think with the, the current form and the 2-0 and o head to head for the Koreans, I think it's going to be a quite a tricky ask for the Chinese Taipei pair of Lee and Young but highly anticipated match being the last match of the semi-finals today. But I, I was able to watch Sio and Kung play yesterday. 
in their quarterfinal match against the Malaysians. Is it in? And they were really, really solid. They had a close first set, but in the second they just dominated. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Jiafei and Yang Fochuan, Chinese Taipei. And on my left, Kang Min Hyuk and Son Su Jie, Korea. Yang Fochuan to serve to Son Su Jie. Level play. Sounds oh. over. One love. See how fast that point was. <laughs> In comparison to what we had a little earlier. Two on the board, very quick time to target two. Chill. Love. Just so good, the Koreans. Like I said, even yesterday against the Malaysians, their defense is just like a brick wall. Third shot there. Oh, Yang setting that point up. Three, two. Sure does well. Well taken. Sub over. Three. He can definitely oh. generate a lot of power, but a lot of the time he he will just place these and get them really steep, just like that. Not a lot of power, but just straight onto the ground. And even as a, a mixed doubles player as well, he's so switched on, even at the net, to be able to take and intercept those shots. Confusion there from the Chinese Taipei pair. And the Koreans are back in the lead. Quick time, we've already got uh, nine points yeah. on the board. Men's doubles being the first a few shots being of utmost importance. It's often where rallies are lost or won. Oh. It's a challenge Sausage here. Challenges challenges called in.
Just out. Correction out. Great judgment by Sio there. Four. Play. Rally there, high speed. CO smashing a cross court smash there, opening up the court for himself a bit there. Got the got the Koreans in trouble a bit. Six all. In front here, Kang and Seo. Seven, six. Good, intercep good interception there by Kang. They're both very tall men, the oh. Korean pair. Can be difficult to get past them in the front court when they're waiting. Almost to cut off there. Eight, six. Well, Sio is uh, very experienced in this tournament, won it twice back to back, 2017 and 2018. <laughs> Semi finals in 2019. So, this is par for the course, what he's doing here. Great serve. Ooh. Bit of a change in call Sounds by the line judge. Seven. This is Eight. the furthest Kung Ming Hyuk has ever got in the Korean Masters. His best previously was in, uh, was last year in the quarters. Eight all. No one able to take firm control yet of this game. Battle for initiative in that front court. Not one is give away that lift. Kang did really well to get that blow the net level to make the Chinese Taipei pair lift. Give them the attack. Oh, good work there from Kang. A bit of confusion from the Chinese Taipei pair, but Ten, eight. at that opportunity, Kang didn't really go for too much power there. He just went for a really steep smash there. Perfect. The Chinese Taipei pair were waiting a little bit more down the center corridor. Yu Zhe Hui has been here before in the semis with uh, Li Yang. Back in the 2016, got to the final Sam's the over. following year. Nine, ten. Sam's over. Eleven, nine. So we go into the Eight interval double. with. The Koreans just in front here, 11 9 in game one.
Starting to pull away, perhaps, Kang and Show. attacking pressure by the Koreans. I think this is where they really can pull away. Smart Sounds little over. shot there, just directing it Ten. straight into the body of Kang there. It's not doing too much with it, but when it's coming to your body just like that, it's really hard to get out of the way and get your racket on it. Yep, battling back here, Lee and Young. quality of that back end drive just a little bit too high so the Koreans could get that shuttle down quickly I think this is where the the main difference between these two pairs lies you can see the Chinese Taipei pair, they can they can play amazing points, but you tend to find that the consistency of them often doesn't last for a full set. So they can do great Sounds things like summer. that, but I feel like the... 12, it's not 15. sustained enough for you. Not sustained enough, yeah. They're a little bit up and down. Whereas the Koreans, yes, they don't win every point, but you can see that every point that they play there, they're not giving away anything easy. Lee's cut to two here. 15. So two good points here. Let's see if the Chinese Taipei pair can keep up with this intensity. Not give any easy points away, but they have to be really switched on on these first three shots. Fifteen. Only one away. Right on the tail of Kung and Xiao now. Oh. Kung's just struggling a little bit here, being the younger of the two. This is often where we see CO step up, provide a bit of stability for the pair. really see yeah. them 16, channeling that attack to Kang. 15. And we 
what I like about what the Chinese type of pair are doing as well is they're not full smashing everything, but they're doing a few slices, taking his pace out, making Kang see different speeds, different angles. That can really mess with your rhythm in your defense. We just saw that previous rally, 38 shots, the longest one so far. Yes. Lee, look happy. Subs over. Yeah, it's been interesting, isn't it? Uh, oh. Since the World Champs, Kang and Xiao, Kang and uh, Xiao have kind of not really hit the heights again, and that often happens, isn't it, when you've hit a, a real high like that. They've had some uh, relatively early exits. Really sharp on those first few shots there. Sub over. Was 17, the 16. Wrap the court, please. Come, show the place. Yeah, having performed so well, performed out of your skin to win two world championship uh, events, Xiao Xiong J. Thank you. They got to the semis of the China Open right after. But uh, after that, it has been a bit tough for them. 17, 16. Chinese Taipei pair have really made me eat my words now in terms of their stability and that they've wow. been able to string some really good yeah. points together. But I think the, the key here is that they have been sustaining that pressure on Kung. I know that Sia made the error there, but you can see still the attacking pressure really coming in the direction of Kung. Well, there you go. There's his reply to that. It's 17. Uh, definitely his strength though when he gets that those attacking shots. A lot of power, a lot of height as well. What a return. That was a great Seven serve. Over. Then Lee just net rolls it for the return. 19, 17. We will very gladly take that one, Lee and Young. Set up game point here. Oh. Tight. No. Subs over. 18, 19. Great point by the Koreans. So going the. It's a really good cross smash, and they're trying to use that right handed, left handed combination there, because that would have come onto CO's forehand if. If it were returned return straight. Hey. Nicely put away there by Young. Subs over. And they've got two game points. 20. Game point. Wow. I'm not sure really saw this. Yeah. This one here towards Kang there. Really good follow. Great shot. Oh, oh. they're going to challenge that. Leading well. three challenges called out. What do you feel? Do oh. so you clip the line? No, I think it was long. Yeah, that's my gut feel too. I think it was long, but it was a great deceptive shot. It looked like it was going cross, and, he, and he's hit it across the shuttle, so it went straight. I think long. It is. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. 
Service over, 1920. Play. Lee and Young have edged 19. this first game. 21 19. Not sure too many of you might have seen that coming. Well, the world champs in a bit of trouble here. Play 그 동작을 상대방 계속 빨리 맞춰주는 동작에서 걔네들이 치고 들어온 스피드를 맞춰서 푸싱을 맞는 동작이 아니라 한 번씩 담보서 뒤로 한 번씩 올려줘도 돼. 같이 몰고 계속 들어오니까 그 동작. 그리고 지금 낮아지 수비하는 상태에서 타점이 낮아지니까 자꾸 수비적인 수비가 올라간단 말이야. 그 중국 커브 플레이도 마찬가지야. 그걸 좀 타점을 높여줘야지만 때리는 수비, 붙이는 수비도 똑같이 좀 살아가서 우리가 공격적인 플레이가 되는데 그게 자꾸 낮아지 타점이 낮춰져 있는 상태에서 하니까 수비적인 플레이가 나온다. 그걸 조금만 더 타점을 높여주라고 했어. 저거부터 다시 해. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Kang and Xiu came into this as the uh, the big favorites. They are the top seeds. They are playing the third seeds here. Lee and Young, who've taken the first. And Kang and Xiu looked good, didn't Second they? Game. Jeff, for much of that first Level. game. Yeah, they were ahead at the mid-game interval. Play. Great forward movement. The, the Chinese type of player have really impressed me here. Again, that opportunity coming from it was set up from Kang. Two. And again. Two. Love. Just to reiterate what you were saying earlier, it was 15-11 to Kung and Xiu. Mm. And that's when I was commenting, saying that th they made quite a few errors yeah. of Chinese Taipei pair. Yeah. But since then, their first three has just been so switched on. Again, so good. If you, if you notice the first three, three well, yeah. after the first few shots, the Chinese Taipei pair are getting the shuttle below the net. They're, they're getting that initiative straight away and because they're getting that initiative they're, they're having these opportunities but also that opportunity to put pressure on Kang. I think the Koreans really need to be a bit more switched on on these first three and try to get the initiative here because they, I don't think that at this stage they're going to win this match by just defending. Right. Subs over. So they're going to grab the One, game by the three. scruff of its neck. They've got a really challenge in those first three, challenge in that mid court and front court. Because they're losing. They're losing in those those situations. <laughs> Another awesome return Two, though. Three. Era there.
There's a groan from the crowd. Sun Silver, four, three. Standing Kang there, making him move. Five, three. And just the, the pressure. So when Kang's hitting this shot here, he can okay. feel the Taipei pair closing into the net, so he needs to play it really tight. He makes that error. Six, three. See how quiet it has gotten in here as well. For an opponent, that's what you want to do. Silence the home crowd. Great forward movement there from Young. Seven, three. Just reading the play well. Really pushing forwards there. Just oh, the back. This would be incredible if they can win this. Oh, oh. Oh, Great rally. Too far. The reactions. Great rally around the back to save the point. Seven, seven. Four, seven. Oh, well, the adjustment here. Go there. Thank you. Nice shot by CEO into the open court. Had the vision. They've got smiles on their faces. Oh. I think they know they've been playing well. This is better by the Koreans. Much better by the Koreans. Winning that tussle in the mid-court. Getting the initiative. confusion again I actually seven. thought that Yang was coming back and so did Lee I think I oh, sorry I thought that Lee was coming back in that position Yang also thought that Usually that attack going in the direction of Kung. Elaborate first when you say confusion is, is in hesitation of who to play the shot? Yeah, or? who to play the shot because they're, if you have a look here, they're both trying to charge forwards here. And I think the main difference here is that they're attacking more towards Sio. I'm not sure why, but Sio's got that ability to get it back over. Whereas Kung, I think 
struggled a little bit to get get it over the Chinese Taipei pair. Excellent. Which is interesting oh, because you said in the first game that they were targeting Kung a bit, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And I think that uh, from a Chinese Taipei pair uh, point of view, they That's need what to doing. keep doing that and keep that pressure on Kung because we know that CEO can get out of trouble a lot. I guess have more options in those situations. whether they're going to start piling the pressure a bit more on Kung, especially after this era. Because I feel that the, the comeback here from the Koreans has been more on the racket of CO. Great serve. Eight. So Lee and Young Eight. have a three-point lead at the end in well, the middle of this second game, they've already taken the first, 21-19. They're in a decent position here. one down a game what have they got to do they've got to play CO oh. into it they've got to get CO in uh, I guess challenging the net getting those opportunities to lift to Kang it's gonna involve really aware in the first three shots oh broken string there Let's see if he tries to run off soon <laughs> thinking about he's it trying he's trying he's going now Singles caught to cover. The young, they're back into it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, he delayed it for as long as he could. 10, 11. Yes. You could really see him just trying to edge <laughs> over to the he to thought. his racket. there will be confidence builder for Kung because he's gone in and challenged that net and he has won that net exchange. And I think that's where the Chinese Taipei pair have been doing really well and winning a lot of their points. Oh.
Oh, you can just hear that power 13, coming through from Young. 11. But you see there how Sio can just get himself out of that trouble in those situations. But then when they start directing that oh, high what? amount of pressure to Kung, it's just a little bit harder for him to, to sustain it. Sio's defense is uh, very, very impressive. Bit fancy, Sunsilver. bit fancy there 12, from Lee 13. trying to keep the initiative even though he was hitting the shot well below the net level there. He's going to take a perfect shot. Didn't quite make it. Great awareness Sunsilver. from in those first 14, few shots to get the initiative in 12. that sustained pressure from Young onto Kung's racket. It's definitely how they can be constructing their points, oh. I think. by one here, Lee and Young. Kang and Sio have to win this, remember, to stay in this match. Oh, great placement. 14. Oh. Great awareness on that third shot. Kang taking that early, pushing it into the open court. show have struggled to get consecutive points in quite some time now. Oh. 16-14. He's going for a bit too much there, Kong, but I think that's just coming from the pressure that Lee and Young are putting on the Korean pair in this service situation. And another good serve. I think there's been two or three aces. Yeah. If you want to call them that in 17, so switched 14. on in this service situation. This is where I think the crowd can play that part. It's got a little bit quiet. In some places in the world, they'd be right. They'd be continuing to make that noise rather than waiting for each point. It, it's it's really different, isn't it? Interesting to see around the world how the support works. Great return of oh. serve again. Another net touch off that return of serve. Serves over. 18, 15. With that much power coming by, and then as high as Young is taking that shot there. It's really difficult for Sio to know what's coming. Three points away. Oh. <laughs> he got that. But the but it wasn't enough. Lucky there. I don't know how Kung hit that, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Pure reactions. Interesting what you said about the home crowd, though. 
where they can really build you up when they when they're cheering Thank and you're you. winning the points but I feel like as a player you can also feel when they're quiet and you're losing the point and it's silent um, I think that that's a huge effect as well you know there's, uh, there's, there's reactive crowds and there's proactive crowds mm -hmm. um, and right now it feels like the, the, the Koreans are waiting for something to happen the crowd to get behind the team another net touch on the return oh, oh how did he get there Amazing. <laughs> Some of the defending today. Just a point in it again. Just this is a moment. A really good placement there from CO. One down the center corridor and then straight away onto the right hip. A little bit loose on that serve, but well Sons dealt with. 19, Young just really 70. put that away. Straight to the body of Kung, and then follow up. Not too much he can do. Lee and Young, two points away. <laughs> Big point there for Kung. Sons over. 18. 19. Big serve under pressure here. Oh. So good. So good in terms of that sort of situation. I know I've said it a hundred times, but that, that <laughs> pressure that's coming from that. Is so difficult to deal with. Right. They've been so switched on there. That's been the real game changer here. Two match points. Let's see what they can do. Massive here. Oh, oh, that is superb. It really has been. And this Chinese Taipei pair have beaten the world champions in their own backyard. And they've done it in straight games. I'm not sure anyone would have had that one coming. Absolutely brilliant from them. Max run by Li Jinhui and Yang Po Chuan, 21-19. They've only won prior to this 18. three out of ten semi-finals on the World Tour. And today, they can celebrate number four and they've done it in some style. And they've done it against a top, top pairing. Absolutely fantastic. You you really enjoyed that today. Uh, but Kung Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae, the top seeds are out because Lee Jiu Hui and Young Po Suman, the third seeds from Chinese Taipei, beat them 21-19, 21-18. They've done it in 42 minutes. Well, that would be a real disappointment. Sio still has one final tomorrow, but he was hoping to give the fans a treat and be in two. This is our order of play for tomorrow. We're going to see Sio in action. I think that was done on the basis that perhaps he might just be in the men's doubles final. That isn't going to happen now. But we'll have mixed doubles, then women's singles, women's doubles, men's singles, and we're going to end with the men's doubles. Action will start at 11 a.m. local time. So we end here then. Semi-final day. It's goodbye from us, and we'll see you tomorrow.